successfully and, and effectively reduce the discomfort of injecting the sole of the foot so that I can perform um, procedures that actually uh, generate quite a lot of discomfort to the patient. Um, I'm going to demonstrate how using this little device here I can actually alter the perception of pain for my, my patient um, based on the gate pain wave theory to disturb uh, the pain perception so I can successfully infiltrate this area with a needle to make it uh, comfortable for laser, Indiag laser and also for the SWIFT. Both the SWIFT and the laser are uncomfortable procedures and often when we're using both the SWIFT and the laser, if we don't use any analgesia, we can't get enough energy to effectively treat the verrucas. You can see these are two areas here that I've previously treated with the laser and both have I've used this little device here, this vibrating device, I've used it on both of them to successfully get analgesia into them so I can anaesthetize. Right, so I've got my needle here and what I'm going to do is I'm not going to be doing this whole area today, it's a very, very large verruca as you can see. I'm only going to be doing half of it, so I'm going to infiltrate half of it with analgesia using the device and then I'm just going to demonstrate on the other side how painful it is to not use the device and try and go in the other side. Okay, right, so here is our little device. And what we do is we just place it over the area that we want to anaesthetize. And just have that going for a little way. So just have that going for a little bit of time. And this will start to disturb and interrupt the nerve pathways. So I'm now just going to infiltrate this area. And my patient is allowed to give feedback up there. All right? Okay. It's still going to be uncomfortable, but it really, with using this device, we can get analgesia into our areas. So, and as you can see, I've gone quite a way there. Are we okay up there? Yeah, fine. Yeah, it's tolerable. Now, the bit that always hurts is when you're actually putting the analgesia into it, more than the actual needle. That's the bit that's actually uncomfortable. So I'm putting quite a bit in there. I'm also going to come down and put a little bit more in there. Okay, you're doing ever so well. All right, you can see it's beginning to whiten up underneath. But without using this device, it's just nigh on impossible to actually inject anything into the sole of the foot. So normally when I'm doing laser procedures, I would do a tibial block. But the disadvantages of doing a tibial block is it's a longer procedure, um, and the patient can have a numb foot up to three hours, whereas with this procedure, this is wearing off within an hour or so. Although you do get a little numbness, tingling sometimes into the toes. Okay, so you can see it's nicely blanched up in there. All right up there still? Yeah, fine. Yeah? Okay, so I'm just going to take that away. Now, we're going to try just to show the difference. Anesthetizing the other side of the foot without our device. Okay, right, so this half, now I want feedback up there. Yeah. Don't hold back. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, how is that? Right, okay, what was better? Uh, the first one. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to come out because I've only just put the needle in there and that's uncomfortable. And obviously we all have a different perception of pain, um, but if a patient is that uncomfortable, it's time to stop. Okay, so I've now set my Indiag laser. I've got a pretty high setting here of 200 joules per centimetre squared, and I'm using a 4 millimetre spot size. So um, these are high energies going into this room, and without any analgesia, it would be very uncomfortable for my patient. Okay, so I'm just now going to demonstrate how easy it is for me now to get my foot in the pedal. 
concentrate, I'm just going to use the same on this side. Sorry, what did you say up there? See, and it's painful. So analgesia is a necessary requirement when you're actually doing a group cut. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, demonstrate how using analgesia um, makes a swift treatment um, more comfortable. If you don't put some analgesia in there, but the most you can tend to get in, sort of power-wise, milliseconds, is two to three, because it just is too painful. If we can actually increase the seconds that we're putting the microwave energy in there up to five, we get a far better result, and potentially we need to have less um, swift sessions. So as we know, this side has been anaesthetized, this side hasn't, and I'm just going to demonstrate on this side without. Ah. See, I jump with him. Okay, and this is the trouble when you're treating, you jump with the patient. The whole thing becomes uncomfortable for the podiatrist as well as the patient. Now, if I go to this side, that was only back to only two milliseconds. I'm now going to go on this side. Okay, and I'm going to use this edge which has been anaesthetized. Same two seconds. Nothing. Right, now I'm going to put this up to five. Alright, just to show the difference here. I'm not even going to do five on that side because it'd be far too painful. But let's just go sort of to the centre here and just put one shot in at five. No problem. So you can see by putting analgesia in there, you make the procedure a lot more comfortable. So I'm going to stop with that. So by using my wonderful little um, vibration anesthesia device, the VAD, we can successfully get analgesia in there to maximize uh, my clinical outcome. So I am actually able to get a lot of energy, whether it be uh, infrared light energy from an NDAG laser or using microwave energy from um, the SWIFT. Thank you.